what have you found the, the first few days? A bit of a strange environment to come into, I would imagine. Uh, to be honest, it's, it's, not, it's not been that strange. Uh, obviously, Eddie and Grant have been taking training, and, and for me, it's sort of it's not been any different. It's just come in, and they two have been sort of taking the training. It's, it's been great. Had Neil spoken to you about the move? Yeah, I had a brief conversation uh, with Neil just before sort of. Um, well, I sort of had I'd known for a little while that that Hibs have always sort of been interested. Uh, I had a brief conversation with Neil. Uh, Pretty close to, to, to him going, uh, but I had other conversations sort of with other people as soon as that happened, and um, it was just great, obviously, to know that they still wanted me to come. What was your runner through your head when you heard that you first of all been suspended and then for the Leicester club? Yeah, it was obviously a little bit of a shock because, um, like I said, I had a brief conversation with him on the phone, um, so never never expected that to happen. But uh, like I touched on before, I had sort of other conversations with other people at the club as well. And, they had made it clear that um, how much they wanted me here. And what are your goals between now and the end of the season? You've not been playing what's going on, have you? No, I've not. Um, it's been a bit frustrating. Um, but look, I think one of the main reasons coming up here was um, to, to get myself in the team, get get start playing and hopefully bring some goals to the team. I mean, I think we've gone through a little bit of a bad run, but I think there's a, enough quality in there to um, get the team back up the league. Did you have options at other clubs? I did, Livingston, yeah. Livingston, you're old. Yeah, Livingston, uh, I never really heard from them, to be honest, this um, <laughs> this window, but uh, I had a few options down in England, and uh, it was one I sort of took my time over in deciding. Uh, but I just thought with, with, with Hibs, I'd known quite a bit about them and stuff, it was, um, in the end, it was quite an easy decision. What is it about Hibs? Is it the way they play, or what is it about them? But they're obviously a very well established club. Um, I'm a local lad, so I know a lot about them. Uh, I was I was here when what, ten years ago um, as, as a youth player, um, so I know an awful lot, and I know a couple of people that still worked here and stuff like that. So uh, look, they play good football. I think they play attacking football. Um, it's always been the Hibs way, and it's uh, something that suits me. Is there a feeling, not just for yourself, but for other guys in the team, that you will have to, to prove yourself all over again for this new manager coming in? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's, it's it's another challenge for myself, which um, I'll be looking forward to doing. I mean, you don't get anything for free in football. Um, even if it was the old manager is still in charge, was, um, there would be no doubts that I'd still have to prove to him and train every day that I was worthy of a starting place. So I'm doing that now with, with Grant and Eddie. Um, and if a new manager comes in, I'll do that again. And a match like tomorrow, I suppose, is the perfect stage? Yeah, great. I mean, it's, it was a... It was a big reason for me also wanting to come back up the road. Um, there's a lot of big games in this league and I think the league's as strong as it's been for a long time. So uh, it's great, it's like something to look forward to. What kind of confidence are you taking in the, the game against Celtic tomorrow? Look, I think we need to, like I say, there's a lot of quality in that squad. It's been through a little bit of a bad run, but um, confident that we can turn that around and <coughs> go to Celtic Park, what have you got to lose? I mean, you've got to go for it. Um, like I say, in there, there's, there's definitely a call in there that you can you can go there and take a point away. They've not even lost a goal since the turn of the, the year. It's a bit of a daunting prospect. It is. Look, they're obviously a very good side and we respect them for that, but you, you, you've got to show them so much respect. You've got to go there and you've got to go there um, hoping to take something away from the game. There's no point in going away there being negative. So, like I said before, we're, we're um, confident that we can go there and get something.